everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. Today is week three of the Room of the Month Challenge. If you don't know what it is, it is basically a challenge where my dear friend Heidi Sambel, who is the organizer of this challenge, um, basically asks us to tackle one room for an entire month and completely make it over. This is my second time doing it. I did my guest bath last month and now I'm doing my kitchen. Today we are sharing our sneak peeks and there is a playlist that I will have in my description box where you can go and check out everybody else's sneak peeks, see what rooms they're doing and how their progress is coming along. All right, I'm about to share with you kind of what I've been doing. Before I start though, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss the final reveal next week. Far, we have painted everything um, all the cabinets are done all of the walls are done painted lighter the room looks so much more brighter now I'm very excited and now I've basically just been working on getting all the final like details kind of styling the place kind of figure out how I want what where and all those final um, little details so here's what I've gotten so far I've had some of these for a little while. Um, I bought them all at the Target dollar spot. Yeah, and um, I haven't really used them just because I've been waiting to have my kitchen done for a while. So now that I actually do, I'm gonna have these out. I bought this really cute little um, jar. It is food safe and I got it from Hobby Lobby and it has a nice little lid on there. So hopefully I get to incorporate that. Um, I've had these little towels for a while, again, from Target um, Dollar Spot as, no, I'll take that back. These were from Ikea. Yep, these were from Ikea, these two little bundles right here. And then this is another one from Target Dollar Spot. I've had again for a little while and it has the navy blue and the white, which I love so much. And now I actually get to display it. So there's a couple of the things that I've had um, for a little while um, and yeah. So I can't wait to share how I am gonna put these in the kitchen. Now I'm gonna take you to my vision board for a second. I have actually tackled most of these items. I painted the kitchen white. I did the repost gray on the walls. I added wood trim to the hood vent. I've got linens with white and blue, which I love. I also added more um, white ceramics throughout. Most of it has been from my home since I already had them in other places. I got clear jars um, for food storage. Now, the one thing that I kind of changed up was that jute rug, and I'll show you why. I brought the jute rug that I use in my guest bathroom makeover, and when I put it down in front of it to see what it would look like, it kind of disappeared with the hardwood floors. So I kind of wasn't too happy about that. So I looked online and I found this beautiful distressed oriental rug that's used in a lot of farmhouse decor now and it's navy blue and kind of a cream and white and I thought it would be perfect instead. And then of course I had to start filling up my clear glass jars that I love so much. Of course here you see me filling up my coffee because I need this every single morning. Most of the things I'm adding, I already had, but there's a couple of DIYs that I'm making specifically for this space. And that cute little tobacco basket that I shared in my last shopping haul is also going into the kitchen. I'm excited because I've had an idea of where I wanted to put one for a while and now I get to do it. The good thing is that I didn't have to do so much shopping and so much changing up simply because the biggest impact was the actual paint. And I can't wait to share it all with you guys next week. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen so far, the little items that I've gotten, the little tweaks that I've made. I'm really excited with how this is coming along and finally getting my white kitchen. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can see the final reveal next week. Let me know what your favorite part was so far, what little detail you guys liked, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.